Hello, dancers. My name is Aziz Kachinuri from Germany. I'm the national youth coach here in this country. I have an honor to work with many international couples all over the world, and I enjoy it very much. To my own dancing career, I became 11 times German champion. I was pro champion and amateur champion, became European champion, and three times vice world champion, finally winning the World Cup. So I was quite successful, and uh, I really like to work with the young couples of our time. Today we will speak very shortly about outside circles and maybe three-dimensional dancing and I'm really proud to have a nice demonstration couple for you. So it's Dima Zhakov and Olga Kulnikova from Moscow. I work for many years with them and I hope we will give you a good time and good information for this little lecture. So may I introduce Dima Zharkov and Olga Kulnikova from Russia. And as I said, we will do a natural turn, just a natural turn, and I will show slowly each movement how we can produce a nice natural turn with big outside circles and in a way three-dimensional. So I would like to ask Dima to do one natural turn first. Thank you very much. So we go back in open practice hold to explain some important points of this movement. So would you please do three one and stand. So first of all we have to connect shoulder, hip, foot. The same with Olga, shoulder, hip, foot and um, the connection of these three points is very important. Now I would like to ask Dima and Olga to rotate so she let him pass and he passes. Okay, thank you very much. Again, the next point, <coughs> so you can easily see that the rotation is very important, important and it's happened on one foot, over one foot. So I would like to do this again with you and try to find a bigger outside circle. So we go three, one, and this way. What is very important here, that this side will not be totally broken. There is still a connection, sh shoulder, hip, foot. In case he will break this side, yeah, of course it will be not right and we lose the balance. May I ask you again for this? Three, one, and we stand. 3-1, connection, shoulder, hip, foot, and rotation. And you see, we develop the head distance a little bit. And now I would like to ask you, collect, go, and close. Thank you very much. So, what is very important in this movement, in this quite simple movement, but so important movement, is that two persons are able to in a way, in a positive way, isolating the body, the upper part of the body, through rotation with the lower part of the body. Everything must be connected, but finally the most important thing is in this movement that we go through the knee. This is the most important thing. So, have a look as uh, in the complete movement when Dima and Olga are doing the natural turn, we will do it first in practice hold and watch the rotation of the body and watch the movement of the legs. So we see three, one, rotation and close. Thank you very much. So I would like to ask Dima to do this natural turn in this direction and stay again on 3-1 and 3-1. Okay, now you see this leg line and the, con and the connection on the right foot. The question is why Dima has this leg line still and is rotating the body. The answer is because he's still working from that foot, because he's leaving the standing leg going to going to the next standing leg and now he will connect. And you can easily see that the body is rotating earlier, then he's leaving the left foot. Can you do this again, please, for me? Yes. 
So slowly, three, one, and three, one. Still working from left, rotating, 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 and collect. Yes. Olga, can you do the opposite way? <laughs> okay, the backward step. Three, one, please. And three, one. And you see the rotation. Now she has a pointing position. Okay, pointing position. Yeah. And close and collect everything. Okay. May I ask you again in complete hold to show the natural turn? We see the preparation, the rotation, and collect. Okay. One more word to the head position of Dima and Olga. You see, when Olga is let him pass, of course, the movement moves diagonally to the wall, but the head movement of Olga is in opposite direction. We will show in a second. Dima is, um, has finally three head positions. He's doing quarter to 12, five to 12, and when he's finishing, he has a curve in his body and his nose is over his own breastbone. So let's watch the head movements. Yeah, the head weight is very important to keep us in balance. So, preparation. Now he is doing quarter to. Now he is going five to. And finally, go through, go through. He's collecting. Yeah, Olga's head weight is moving to left. Dima has his nose over his breastbone. So, if we would do mistakes with our head weight, it would be awful for the balance. So. Unfortunately, I must ask you one time in practice hold doing the wrong head movements. Yeah, just keep it left and Olga is not moving in the opposite way. So, just have a look that Olga is not using the head weight and he's keeping the head left so you lose easily the balance. So this means head weight is another very, very important topic. We cannot mention all these things but I would like to ask you again to do it in a correct way, please. So watch the head preparation. So Olga is following him, moving, and we collect. Okay. Finally, I would like to thank you very much, Dima and Olga. Um, finally, I would stop this little lecture just to say that this is only one little point of many, many points. We have to be aware of this movement. Of course, the footwork, the way we lose, we're using our uh, legs, the flexibility of our muscles, they're all very important things we have to be aware. So I would like to ask Dima and Olga to do it one more time, the natural turn, and then I would like to say thank you very much to all of you. So we see the preparation, we see the rotation and collect. Thank you very much, Dima and Olga. Thank you for assisting me to this lecture. And thank you very much to all of you, all dancers. I wish you all success. Thank you very much. <laughs>